spending the day reading today and I'm so excited because it's the perfect weather. It's rainy. I'm really in the reading mood. I'm really in the mood to read a stunning historical fiction book. So I'm going to be reading The Book Thief which is my Patreon funny read book for September and I first read this in 2018. I think I talked about it on my channel like ages ago but yeah it's been a while. I loved it at the time but I think I'll love it even more now that I'm older and everything. I'm so excited and I'm obviously going to annotate. I didn't annotate the first time so I'm really excited to just really dive into this book, soak up all the words, and just have the most beautiful time reading this. But they would code switch into the more feminine style, like using sibling S's and gender inverted pronouns. Sorry, I was just listening to my audiobook. I'm so excited to talk to you about Word Slut, which is my newest favorite audiobook, which I actually start later on in this vlog, so I'll be giving more of my thoughts, but 
and of course I'm listening to it on Audible who are the sponsor of today's video. Super super thankful to them. Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you're interested in. They have best-selling audiobooks in every genre so of course romance, contemporary fiction, literary fiction, historical fiction, non-fiction, lots of books on business, celebrity memoirs. They also have exclusive Audible originals, they have popular podcasts and more. And the best thing about it is that it's all in one place and you can listen to whatever you're in the mood for whenever you want on any device and it's all synced across devices so if you're listening to an audiobook on your laptop you can pick up where you left off on your phone and the audible app makes it easy to listen anywhere anytime so i'm always listening to audiobooks while i'm going on a walk or cleaning or going grocery shopping traveling doing chores i love having an audiobook or a podcast on the go so basically as an audible member each month you can choose one title to keep from their entire catalog so this includes their bestsellers and new releases and all audible members also get access to a growing selection of titles included in your membership and you can listen to these all you want and this selection includes audiobooks audible originals and podcasts and more get added each month and there are some truly phenomenal titles included in the membership for example like pride and prejudice sleep sounds with jamie dornan the midnight library so many good titles included this new included selection of titles makes the audible membership even more valuable and it also gives you a chance to discover new favorites and formats and yeah word slut Wow, my newest favorite audiobook. And I want everyone to listen to this. So Worst Lot is by feminist linguist Amanda Montell, who explains why words matter, why it's imperative that women embrace their unique relationship with language. It draws on fascinating research, moves between history and pop culture. Montell deconstructs language from insults and cursing to grammar and pronunciation to expose the ways it has been used for centuries to gaslight women. It's incredible and you can listen to it on Audible and new members can get Audible free for 30 days by going to audible.com slash books with Chloe or texting books with Chloe to 500 500 so that information will be in my description and thank you so much to audible for sponsoring this video <laughs> Okay, I'm changing my bookmark because Caitlin's on FaceTime now. You wanna say hello? Hello. We were talking about what bookmark we were gonna use and she made the really good point that she's gonna use the Caitly bookmark. And Caitlin gave me heaps of cute stuff recently, including these bookmarks. And these are from Fan Girlish Wondering. And Caitlin gave me this one, which is Crying in H Mart. So it basically has like things to do with the book and it's like a little receipt. And then Pride and Prejudice, and then A Court of Silver Flames, and then Caitlyn. So this is the custom bookmark. So it says, oh, I spent this, oh my God, I didn't even, oh, sorry, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> so New Zealand, Australia, expenses from now until forever, paid for in love and laughter. And this we have like face on calls, stories about girlies, who are my moments, stunning fictional men, crying over anything slash everything. How cute. So that of course needs to be the bookmark. And yeah, it looks stunning with the book. The book my book's on, the book my book's on. <laughs> that is the cutest thing ever.
I used to have a very complicated relationship with exercise and moving my body, but I'm so happy that now I fully embraced daily exercise and it has truly changed my life for the better. It has definitely helped with my mental health and feeling better in my body. I love doing daily yoga as well as Pilates and I've also been stretching every day because I really want to do the splits by the end of the year. So hopefully you will see that from me soon. <laughs> packages I got. Exactly to this beautiful frame. Look at that. Beautiful. I need to show you some prints that Caitlin gave to me recently. So Caitlin got me this beautiful bunny print. This is from Society6. Caitlin got it a while ago and I was meaning to get it and I just hadn't got it yet. And so she bought it for me and I love it. And I actually think I'm gonna put it in this frame. Like it's gonna look stunning. And I'll put it in my room or maybe on my bookshelf or maybe even on like my desk. Oh my God, the possibilities, the possibilities. And then she also gave me these. I actually wanna take them out. So she also got me these prints. Celia and Marco from the Night Circus. Celia from the Night Circus, wow. Disney for the first time? Yeah! <laughs> Happy Sunday to us. Three, two, one, play. <laughs> I finally filmed a book haul yesterday, so I have all my books in a stack over there so I can put them away on my shelf. And this is one of my favorite parts that I love to do, so let's do it.
image conjures images of an old boss, or roommate, or some famous she-villain like Cruella de Vil. Maybe the word bitch instantly catapults Kellyanne Conway's face to your mind, like a jack-in-the-box straight from hell. finished masterpiece I actually really love it so basically I got this inspiration from this TikTok that I saw and I knew I wanted to do something similar with the heart cut out so I wanted to do something simple and I went with this so this is called a metamorphosis and it obviously has the heart and it has the safety pins so basically my vision was a broken heart mending itself with self-love and affirmation so I wrote some things that I like about myself around the heart so empathetic beautiful caring see even just saying beautiful like I've I feel weird, but like, you know, I'm trying to get better at like saying these things about myself. But I posted this on my Patreon Discord and Kennedy said, it looks like a heart that has built a wall around itself to keep from hurting, but it's still getting pierced, but it is so strong it keeps burning brighter anyway. And I love that. Yeah. Like, obviously it's not perfect, but that's the point. This is your reminder that even if you think you're not like a good artist or whatever, you can still do art. You can still draw. You can still create things. It's definitely a good way to just spend time with yourself, let out your creative energies, and yeah. And I started listening to the audiobook Word Slut, A Feminist Guide to Taking Back the English Language. And I'm loving it. It's basically about the importance of language and how gendered our current modern language is and how there are a lot of sexist phrases and things that we always say. It also talks about the history of language and words. And it's so interesting so far. I'm absolutely loving it. And I love the way that it's written because it's definitely written in a way that can be accessible and easily digestible to the public because they talk about how, you know, they didn't want this kind of discussion just be happening in like academic spaces it definitely has like a light tone with some humor it also gives examples of gendered insults so for example like bitch and the history behind these words and how you know a lot of these words were once gender neutral and then it turned to be something that was derogatory to women and or there were words that were used for men and women so for example buddy and sissy these actually used to just mean like brother and sister and buddy has obviously now become like a fun little like oh my god hey buddy and the word sissy usually has a negative connotation to it so it's really interesting to read i think i'm definitely going to read it very quickly but yeah i'm going to sleep now and then in the morning i'm so excited because i'll be doing my first disney dreamlight valley stream i've been so excited for this game because it is like a life simulation game it's like an adventure game like it's literally sims meets animal crossing in a disney world and it looks beautiful anyway i'm so excited so time to sleep I literally watched The Sword and Stone on the weekend. This is the best day of my life. they're currently talking about why the word like is hated so much especially when women use it and like the history behind it and stuff like that it's just so interesting i was told so much growing up that i shouldn't say like because it makes me sound dumb and even when i first started uploading videos i would say like as a connecting word so much and i would literally cut it out because i was like i don't want to piss people off <laughs> the type of tags used a person's level of power in an interaction is way more relevant One of our culture's least helpful pieces of advice is that women need to change the way they speak to sound less like women, or that queer people need to sound straighter, or that people of color need to sound whiter. 
The way any of these folks talk isn't inherently more or less worthy of respect. It only sounds that way because it reflects an underlying assumption about who holds more power in our culture. As Deborah Cameron once said, teaching young women to accommodate to the linguistic preferences, aka prejudices, of the men who run law firms and engineering companies is doing the patriarchy's work for it. It accepts the idea that feminine speech is the problem rather than the sexist attitudes toward it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much once again to Audible for sponsoring this video. Don't forget new members can try Audible free for 30 days by going to audible.com slash books with Chloe or texting books with Chloe to 500 500. If you want to find me elsewhere, all my socials and my Patreon for extra content is linked below. I hope you're all having a good day or night and I'll see you in my next video.